Enterprise PDM has been well accepted by many because of its scalability. You can easily connect the design data needs of your entire enterprise, whether for just a few users in a single location or hundreds of contributors working in multiple locations around the world. Enterprise PDM has the tools to ensure that all users are working with the most up-to-date data. Let's take a look at how Enterprise PDM manages this. In a single location, as seen here on the screen, SolidWorks Enterprise PDM uses a database server and an archive server for hosting files and activities in an Enterprise PDM vault. When a client or user connects to an Enterprise PDM vault and browses for files, views file data cards, searches for files, and so on, the information is sent between the client and the server. When a user wants to retrieve files stored in a vault, such as drawings or documents, these files are copied from the archive server onto the user's machine. Here the user can make the necessary changes without having to work over a network. In a LAN or local area network environment, the files are normally transferred quickly since the archive server resides locally to the users. But what happens if a company has multiple locations? Let's take a look. If the Enterprise PDM Vault is shared between multiple offices over a WAN or Wide Area Network Connection, the replication tool is needed. By using the Vault Replication feature in Enterprise PDM, you can balance the amount of data that is transferred over a WAN connection by setting up a local archive server in each office. These servers will host a replicated copy of the Vault. When users in each office work in the Vault, the information is still sent from the central database server, but the physical files are now retrieved from the closest archive server hosting a copy of the file. If the file has already been replicated, the file will be retrieved from the local archive server in the remote office. If the file has been added to an archive server in a different office and has not yet been replicated to the local archive server, the file will be automatically replicated when the user retrieves the file. At this point, the file has now been replicated to the local server for others in that office to use. If this file has been added to an archive server in a different office and has not yet been replicated to the local archive server, the file will be automatically replicated when the user goes to retrieve the file. At this point, the file has now been replicated to the local server for all others to use. Another item you may have noticed in this image is the web server. This is an additional feature of Enterprise PDM. This gives users remote access to files using any standard web browser. So with that being said, as your company grows, Enterprise PDM will grow with you. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial on the scalability of Enterprise PDM. Thank you.